Hi everyone. So today in this video, we'll see how to take a screenshot using the dev tools. Okay, so we were using some uh, some third party tools, some additional tools or some extension to take the screenshot, right? So by, by default in the browser, we can take the screenshot by using the dev tool options. So this is applicable for across all the browser like the Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, everything, right? So in this video, we will cover a Microsoft Edge, a Chrome browser, as well as Firefox. Okay, so there are there are types of uh, screenshot you can take in the Chromium browser, like a Chromium based browser, something like a Chrome or Microsoft Edge, right? So these browsers are running on the Chromium uh, based, right? So for this one, we have different options, like you can take particular node, or you can take the entire screen, or you can you can select some area that you want to capture, right? So these are the four options that are available in the Chromium browser, which is on the Chrome and Microsoft Edge. So in Firefox also we can take, but not in the same way. Okay, so we will cover all three browsers, how to take a screenshot by using the DevTools option. Okay, we'll, we'll start from the Chrome. Okay, so this is a Chrome. What we have to do, we have to open the console, sorry, uh, DevTools. Sorry. Okay, I will open the console, I mean, um, DevTools. So once this is open, here you can go and you can click on the run command. Right, so otherwise you can use the control shift to be. Okay, so as soon as you open this, just typing a screenshot. Right, so so here we are getting four options. Right, the, the four options are like capturing the node screenshot, capturing the screenshot, capture the full size screenshot, capture the area screenshot. Right, so that is what options we are getting it here. Right, so the first option capture the area screenshot. So for example, if you want to capture a particular area, okay, so you can simply click on this and you can select the area that you want to capture. Okay, so now I have captured this, right? So now this will get downloaded here as a PNG file. You can open and see. So this is how captured, right? And we have another option. So again, again, you can go to control shift P. So this is what we have seen now, area, right? So this is full size. So when I click on the full size, it will take the entire page. Right, so it just taken. Now if you open this one, you can see the entire page, right? So top from bottom. Right, so the entire screen has captured. So now what, what is the other options we have? Uh, area we have seen. And node, node screenshot, right? So now we are currently into this particular node. Let me go to some particular node. Okay, so for example, this read mode. Right. So I will go to this particular node. Okay. This is a node. Right. So this is a node. So now we can go to the screenshot again. So this is a node screenshot. Right. So by the moment when I click on this one now, again, only this read mode. Right. So this is where we have selected. This node will be captured here. Now we can see. So this will come as a read mode. Yes. Right. So likewise, node also we can take the screenshot. And other last option is capture screenshot, right? So the capture screenshot is whatever the screen visible, visible screen, like if you see here, the capture the screenshot view port only, right? So that is that is the meaning of capture screenshot. So here you can see, um, okay, we'll go to something else. Okay. So this is a screen visible now, right? So we can see some partners with the Selenium, right? So what I will do, I will take that one. I mean, uh, capture, capture screenshot, right? So now it will take only the visible part of the screen. Okay, I'm just clicked on that. I will open the screenshot that taken. Yeah, now you can see. So this is a screen that visible on this particular thing, right? So particular this browser. So that has taken in the screenshot. So likewise, we can take all the three, I mean, all the four options we can use to take the screenshot instead of using some third party paid tool or some extension of the tools. We can we can use this default option that come from the Chromium browser. This is this is applicable for the Microsoft Edge also. Okay, so in Edge also you can go to. Um, okay, so you can go to the Dev Tools again. You can go to the Run Command button, or you can click on the Control Shift P. Same same options available here also. You can see that capture area screenshot, capture the full right. So I will take this capture area screenshot, and you can you can I mean select the area that you want. Okay, so now I have selected only this area. Now this will be downloaded. I mean, this will be captured as a, as a screenshot. 
it will be download right so here you can see this is only area that we have captured so likewise we can we can i mean use firefox i mean uh, chrome and microsoft edge because this is this both applications i mean both browsers are based on the chromium browsers right it is running under chromium based browser so now when it's come to the firefox so when it's come to the firefox uh, here you can see uh, we don't we will not have any options right so if you go to inspect so here you cannot go for a run command i mean yeah you don't have that options right so but here also we have something so when you right click on this element any element right so you will get an option called take screenshot right so when you go here you can you you have a two options like one is save full page and save visible right so when you click on the save visible only the visible part of the area of, i mean browser it will be taken as a screenshot now you can see right so this is a only visible area right so here you can download or you can directly copy and you can paste it wherever you want so now if you want to take a full page of screenshot like you can go for a save full page right so this will take the entire page and you can download it okay now it will why it is not yeah it has taken so here you can see right so the entire page got captured right so this way also you can take uh there is a one more way like a where, where i mean you can go to the uh, dev tools okay so go to the settings under the settings you have this option take screenshot of the entire page right so if you if you check this bar i mean check box so here you can see on the right side top of the corner here you can see the image will come right so capture image right so the camera kind of image if you uncheck it will go okay so when you click on this so you can simply open the uh, dev tools and if you simply click on this button okay now the entire page is i mean captured okay so here you can see the entire page is captured now okay if you open this file and you can see the entire page got captured this is amazon home page like a, i mean from top to bottom right so this way also you can take so these are the options that are available to, to take the screenshot by using the default options or default uh, I mean methods that are available. I mean options that are available in the browser itself. Okay, so you don't want to. I mean use any uh, uh, third-party tool or extension to take the screenshot. Okay, so any any Chromium-based browser you can use this one. If it is a Firefox, then that is the only option. I mean you can go to the take screenshot, and what other screenshot that you want to. I mean the entire page or visible page you can take. It. Okay, so that's all about this video. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you.